feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign All right, all right, what Trigger Man? Back in the lab And today, what we have here Today we're gonna be doing a small little spotting job uh, Show you guys how to do a spot in for clear base you're going to do your normal fade but then spot in into shiny clear you know i'm going to show you guys how to do that and we're going to do it with a little mini setup you know what i'm saying so we're basically going to do this thing like for somebody who wanted to be doing a little mobile work touch up bumpers and at a car lot or something like that you know what i'm saying but um yeah mercedes paint code 979 i believe and we're going to do it with a little mini spotting gun mini compressor little small stuff that you can go to car lots do a little touch-up work make you two three hundred dollars per little job you know what i'm saying so that's what we're gonna do here so keep it locked we'll get to it Pop. okay first thing you want to do on the shiny areas that you didn't sand all of this is sanded with 800 and then where it comes to your shiny areas you want to get a wet rag and you can use scuff stuff or i have this here prep prep scuff and clean by sim a little dab of that put a little dab on here and then what you'll do you want to just sand this here you want to scuff up your areas that you're going to blend use your blending agent or blending solvent or blending whatever you got or however you want to call it you just want to scuff this here scuff it around Scuff it real good. I told my prepper to bring it around this lip here, but didn't listen. Everywhere you're gonna put your blending agent, you wanna go ahead and just give it a little scuff. Then you wanna take the wet part of the rag, wipe that off wipe everything off just using the wet rag the other side of the rag you want to just wipe all that off clean it off okay even fold it again go to another clean area where it's just wet and you want to wipe it off you want to wipe all this stuff off wipe it off and we could remove the little toe hitch cover but again you're just doing a little quick spotting job. It's nothing crazy. It's what the customer paid for, so that's what you're doing. Okay. Then, after that rag, you take your clean rag, use your grease and wax remover, prep saw, or whatever the hell you got, whatever you use, and now you want to clean it. Clean it real good. Real good. Fold it again. It can never be too clean. What you can even do, you can even take the prep saw, use the scuff stuff, the prep stuff there, and use that instead of water. You can never be too clean on these. Just give it a little clean here. And then you're all set for your paint. You're gonna tack rag it off and get to it. And I'm gonna be spraying this one with my Iwata LPH 80. This is the mini gun, the little brother to the LPH 400 this gun uses 2.2 CFM the gun also has a 1.2 nozzle and needle they make them all the way down to a 0 0.8 1.1 my gun my mini gun I like to shoot 1.2 this gun is perfect for all you guys out there with the little compressors as you see, it's blending fine. Didn't even use a wet bed. Didn't need a wet bed at all. 
very fine blend coming out of this gun here and I'm spraying full fan full fluid on this mini gun okay so now we're at the stage where we're ready to clear so we're gonna shoot some clear on here uh, base as you saw came up around here a little over the body line so our 800 stops about here so we're gonna bring our clear coat to here blending agent over where we use the scuff stuff and that's what we're gonna do so time to get some clear on it let's see what happens and the only thing that I would recommend that you guys do differently is get you some type of water separator and put it right before the gun um, I've used this compressor for years for little jobs like this and I've never had an issue with water so that's why I trusted you know I didn't need it on this but I know that is the right thing to do. So if you're out there, gonna use little compressors, little guns, get your water separator or some type of moisture trap. I'm going with 100% overlap. I'm double coating this here. You know, I'm hitting it one good time and getting it out. You know, it was dropped off in the morning. Customer is coming to pick it up lunchtime. Again, it was just something quick. Something that was quick, something that was agreed. Just a small blend, nothing major. And I'm putting on my blender here, the Spray Max 1K Spot Blender. I've used a bunch of these different little blenders. I never really cared for them until I tried this one, and it has worked for me every time. A lot of time, those little cans, you know, they're pretty sensitive. They'll run easy, or they'll react, or have some kind of fish eye. This worked out pretty good for me, so I stick with this brand. I have not had one issue with it, and I've gone through probably 10 cans of it. Good stuff. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Finished product. Now the blend. see you don't even need to buff that I mean you can if you want to polish it up some but really I mean that blend is blended and send it type of deal there and you can polish it if you need to even along that lip on the inside where I was showing you you can but it really doesn't need it the bottom lip there that's it I mean I know a lot of some people are against blending you know oh just paint the whole bumper paint the whole bumper but if you don't need it the customer don't pay for that all the customer wanted was this you know they wanted the customer actually wanted just a little blend here you know but we still just went ahead made it a little bit nicer for them so you do what the customers paying for period but that's it on that one man catch y'all on the next one Okay, I cracked the door open just to get some airflow because like I said, this was a quickie. Customer was coming back in a couple hours to pick it up. So one, two, three. But that's the finished product. Everything you saw right there with the mini gun, little compressor. And that's it, man. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out there trying to do a little spotting work. And it's your boy Trigger signing off. I ask that you would please like, share, subscribe. Please share this video with a friend. And after doing so, if you would please tell his girlfriend, peace.